Hi, I'm Dr. Tyce Hergert from South Lake, Texas. Let's talk about today's doctor of chiropractic. As a doctor of chiropractic, I always get a chuckle when I hear people say things like, oh, you're a chiropractor. Did, did you have to go to school for that? That's not like going to school to be a real doctor, is it? I normally laugh, uh, not because it's funny, but because I remember what it took for me to become a doctor of chiropractic. Our physician level training prepares us to be portal of entry healthcare providers. See, chiropractic school admissions requirements and curriculum today are much like that of medical schools. We take a five-year program and divide that into either trimesters or quarters where you take 30 to 35 semester hours. Uh, that's like twice as many semester credit hours as most full-time students. Uh, then you add in the labs, internship, and things like that. Essentially for three to four years, sometimes as much as, as many as five years, you're at school 12 hours per day. It's your job. The classes you take, like gross anatomy, pathology, neuroanatomy, physiology, neurology, clinical diagnosis, the list goes on. They're identical to medical school. The difference is where they branch off and start studying prescribing drugs and performing surgery, we study biomechanics, nutrition, rehab, physical therapy, and chiropractic technique. Then, you know, there are the national board exams, which is taken in four parts. These exams measure your mastery as a doctor of all of the material. Once you graduate, many states have state exams that you have to take. Uh, in Texas, they have a jurisprudence exam, so you have knowledge of the law that you're practicing under. All states require DCs to take continuing education hours. Texas requires 16 hours, uh, but most of us get much more than that just to stay up to date on the latest information for our patients. When you compare the education of a doctor of chiropractic to an MD or a DO, they stack up pretty close. Uh, but as far as neuromusculoskeletal problems, you know, problems of the nerves, the muscles, the joints, the bones, our training far surpasses most MD programs. And if you compare our training to mid-levels, like nurse practitioners or, or, or PAs who might only do a few week rotation in neuromusculoskeletal, there's really no comparison. So rest assured, your doctor of chiropractic is adequately trained to manage your healthcare problem. In fact, research shows that folks who choose to see their DC first drastically reduce the use of prescription medications, hospitalizations, surgeries, and they reduce the likelihood of becoming disabled. The care that we provide is safe, it's effective, and it reduces total health care costs. It improves the overall health of the individual. Thank you for spending some time with us. We look forward to seeing you again in the very near future.